Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new series of Fatal. This is going to be the Man of the Match edition. Now, I'm sure you have already seen some of the other YouTubers' first episode, so I'll try to keep my initial bit where we talk about the rules and which YouTubers have got which players to a minimum. But if you do enjoy the episode, please don't forget to smash a like on it and don't forget also to subscribe to the channel and to everybody else participating, there'll always be a link down below in the description where you can check out everyone else's content. So, let's go through the YouTubers and what players they've picked. Now, you'll notice that the, the different card styles of Man of the Match are being enforced. You can use any of the orange and blue items. You can use any of the, like, orange and red items, which are, I think, like, AFCON and stuff like that. Uh, and then you can also use the... Plain full orange items, which I've got one of those players today, as you know, in Mikitarian. So, going through the first eight out of 16 YouTubers, we have the, the reigning champion. It is Marshall89HD. He's going to come in. He got the first choice, of course, and has gone with the 88 rated Lacazette. Looks to be a pretty sweet player. Let's hope we don't match up against Marshall later on in the tournament. Nep has gone for Angel Di Maria, so another French League player. DJ Mario has chosen the 94-rated Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and I'm sure he's going to do some damage with that player right there. Cacho has gone for the 91 Aguero, another solid, solid player. Uh, Nick 28T has gone with what would have been probably one of my choices in Hyung Min Sun. Uh, 86-rated, looks like a very good player. I know he is a very good player. Bateson got a choice after DJ Mario. Uh, so he chose the next best Ibrahimovic because, of course, there are two Man of the Match versions available. Uh, Kazooie's gone with the five-star skiller, 88-rated Thiago. Uh, and then the Maverick Wolves have gone with another one of probably my choices, but they got to choose before me in the 86-rated Sadio Mane. And the final eight YouTubers then. First off, there's me. Uh, I have gone with the 88-rated full orange Man of the Match Mikitarian. Four-star skill, five-star weak foot, really, really good stats across the board. I hope we can do some damage with him and earn some coinage to uh, beef up our squad because obviously it's going to start off as a silver team. Uh, Polo has gone for 86-rated Walcott. Zwayback has gone for the Egyptian Messi, I believe he calls him, um, in uh, Man of the Match Salah. Spin Bros have chosen that beastly Yaya Toure. Mikel has gone for the 84-rated Fekir. We have Fuji with the 83-rated Keita Balde, also kind of... He's like a similar player to uh, Martial in the Prem. You know, he's got those sorts of stats, so I'm sure he's a bit of an overpowered player. Unfortunately for Fuji, being new into the series, he kind of got the last pick, so there wasn't any high-rated beasts left. Um, Pumus has gone for the 85-rated Podolski, and then Castro comes back to the series, and because he won his previous Fatal that he was in, he got to choose whatever player he liked, and he's gone with the 91 Aguero, just the same as Cacho. So you know this by now, but I'll quickly go through the rules. We have uh, 10 players that are silver in our first episode. Uh, but Bateson has told us that we can use like man of the match versions or inform versions of silver items. Um, so when you show, when I see uh, when I show you my Premier League side in a little bit, you'll be able to see what players that we've got there that are special, and hopefully they'll help boost the squad at the start of the series. Uh, we obviously play two games an episode. Hopefully coming out with some coins at the end of it. Um, but obviously, the totals will also be combined, combined together. That's the way Fatal works nowadays. So you can lose game one, go on to win game two by more, and still come out with a profit or vice versa. Uh, and then you can only play online single matches. I worry about that because I know I lag a little bit. And of course, versus full chem teams only, I always make sure to look out for that when I'm searching for my Fatal matches. And you can get SBC players just like last time, but there is a maximum of two that you can get and they are all limited to that 100,000 coin mark. So you could get the likes of that SBC Suarez for 100k. That might be a fantastic option to go down if we think about maybe hybriding up. I may be thinking also about just going for a really strong Prem team so that I can maybe get past the first round this time. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. At the end of each episode, of course, I'll give you two options of players if we profit, of course, if we make some coins that you guys can spend for me. I'll give you two different options of players that you will get to choose who we upgrade into the team and they'll bring in from the start of the next episode. 
Like the last series then, we'll get 30k for every goal that we score, but we'll also lose 30k for every goal that we concede. We will, however, get 50k if we score with our man of the match player. So if Mkhitaryan scores, we're going to get some serious coinage. Uh, if we win on penalties, we're going to go ahead and get a plus 30k. Minus 30k if we lose it, of course. Uh, 100k if we quit, uh, get someone to quit in the first half. 50, uh, 75k in the second half. And 50k in extra time. Um, but there has been some slightly new rules put in to, to sort of stop people getting loads and loads of coins if people like put their controller down or something. You can score like four goals and then you have to, you know, not count anymore. Um, and then if they do start playing again, then you can obviously score more. But it's just to, to limit it so that you can't just get like four million coins in one match by winning 82 nil or something like that if someone just literally um puts the controller down and you got to restart your match and play someone different if they quit before the 10th minute which is always a a bit of a worry because if you score right off the bat and someone just quits you know if they'd have just waited past that 10th minute you'd have been all good and you'd have been in the money um and again, similar to you can only score four goals once they put the controller down. Uh, if they start scoring own goals, only four of them will count. But that never happens to me because I always get tough opponents. Being an average FIFA player, everyone out there is a bit of a tough opponent for me. Another new addition uh, into the series this time is that we're going to actually be able to use a couple of substitutes throughout the series. And it's all going to be down to, well, me winning games against teams that are half decent and you guys choosing a player from their team. So, for example, if we play someone with a full Premier League side, for instance, and they've got an Ibrahimovic, right? If we beat him, you guys will be able to choose any one of those starting 11s. And I'll probably do like a straw poll voting system where you guys can click off the video and then vote for which player you'd like me to bring in as a substitute for the next game. Uh, and let's say you voted for Ibra. He'd then be on my bench for the next game. After the 45th minute, I would be able to bring him on, but not for my fatal player, of course. Um, so it's just a way to, to make the subs bench useful because it hasn't been ever you know it's always just been bronze or silver players for us um so that'd be another way for you guys to get involved in the series and of course if i win both games all 22 players from the two different teams will be up for grabs and you guys can vote on who we can use and then the bit which will matter in a few weeks time is of course the knockouts once we've done our five episodes and built our squad to as best as we can we'll get matched up against a youtuber in a knockout style series uh, it will be one match on my channel, one match on their channel. And if it goes to a third match, we'll play, you know, all the way to the end result in those first two games. If uh, I've won one, they've won one, we'll go into a third game. And whoever is uploading the video second, that third game will just be tagged onto that video. Uh, and you'll go through that way rather than uh, like a golden goal situation. So let's get into my starting team and then we'll play some games. Okay guys, welcome to my starting 11 for Fatal. It is my silver team with my man of the match, Mikitarian. Uh, I am starting with a silver team, of course. We've gone for these specific players. Now, uh, we have got a couple of special items in here. I've got this Amati guy who's got 80 pace and 89 physical. Should be pretty good, right? And then I've also got Grant Ledbetter who's got 70s all over. And genuinely, this looks like one of the stronger teams I've used at the start of Fatal. The La Liga stuff, which I normally do, is usually very, very weak. Uh, and I think a lot of these players are actually pretty damn good. So in-game, what am I likely to do? There's a possibility that I might switch this Aphobi with Mkhitaryan so that I can try and get goals right off the bat. That might be useful. But other than that, the team's going to stay in this 4-1-2-1-2 because it's my favourite formation. Um, let's talk custom tactics. They are set as default. I like to rock this. And if anyone was ever, like interested in what i do for uh, for custom tactics here you go i bring the cross in all the way down to 25 shooting up to 70 free form uh, with low pressure 50 pressure but high aggression 65 i think and then we'll go to 60 team width and cover with the defense that's my custom tactics that's what i like to use um it seems to work sometimes kit numbers we're gonna give like Mikatarian number eight i don't know if he actually wears number eight for the club but that seems like a cam number so that's what we're gonna go with today uh and uh what else have we got to deal with here like free kick takers and player roles we've got Mikatarian on basically everything apart from short free kicks oh yeah he doesn't actually have free kick ability so we're gonna leave him uh leave it with grant Ledbitter. but penalties will definitely be taken with the main man right surely surely even if he's not got good stats we can still score them 
So that's how I'm going to rock with this team. It is time to go into our first match of the Fatal Series. Hopefully, one, it doesn't lag, and two, we can earn some coins. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we have met our opponent, and the squad he's rocking is a full-on Premier League team. But it's a full gold one, so remember these players. I'll make sure I take a screenshot of it as well. If we beat this guy, and as long as I've got the rules right, you guys would be able to choose one of these players for my subs bench going forward. So... Can Fosu Mensa shoot? Oh my god, he's forced to save out of Begovic. Okay, okay. Led bitter into the box. Are you Nacho? Oh my god. Oh my days. Yes, we're through. Oh, Fosu Mensa. He's my CDM, so I'm not too happy about him pushing up so much. But Grant Ledbit has got a strike on him. Oh, good save. Before we take the corner, I am going to change so that I can put Mikitarian up front because I need some firepower. I need him to not hang back in midfield or whatever. We need them 50k goals. Oh my god, come on. Back stick. Mikitarian's there. <sighs> also, I hope I'm saying his name right because that would be annoying if, I, if he's my main player and I'm not even saying his name correctly. Funny story, I've actually literally met and Rick Mkhitaryan, um, because no, when I met Zlatan to give him the Player of the Month award, uh, Mkhitaryan won Goal of the Month, and he walked straight past me and was like, hey, how, how are you doing, guys, and stuff, to everyone that was in the room. So that was quite cool. You've actually got the pace on this guy. You have. No, oh, saved by Begovic. We made the run all the way from my own half. Still Begovic got there to save. Play him. All right, I think you're through. I think you're through, Leadbitter. No, you are obviously offside because you're running away from the ball. No, please no. Oh, my God. I don't know how how and where the ball's frigging going, man. Come on, Iheanacho. Yes, we got it to Mikatarian. Come on. Yes, we've scored with him. 44 minutes on the clock. We are 1-0 up, and that is 50,000 coins. Glad I put him at striker now. Even though his positioning has been all over the place so far, he's literally not been hanging off that last shoulder of the defender. He was there that time in order to low driven across the goalkeeper and will take that 1-0 goal. Whew, come on, just before half time. That's nice and important. I'm going to take this with Lalana, and it's going to go flying into the top of the net because it is the 45th minute and 45th minute cheese is about to happen. I'm sure of it. Nope, over the bar. Oh, we just about came away with that, but the ref blew the halftime whistle. And I would say at halftime, we are deserved leaders of the game. 10% um, more possession. We've had more shots on, uh, on goal and on target. So pretty happy about that, but I want to convert more. You can see he's got a 91% pass accuracy, which means that he is good at holding the ball when he gets it. So I need to be the same as that. I need to hold the ball better. But of course, my silver players don't have great passing ability to each other. And also, they're feeling quite clunky. So, the more goals I can get just to see this game off, the better. Come on. We're in. Another one. Oh, Begovic just saved it. Okay. Hit that Mkhitaryan. Oh, I just need a long shot to go in or something. I need a Hail Mary. Come on. Oh, my God. That's not gone in either. He's got a five-star weak foot. Why wasn't he... Why wasn't that shot better? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to happen, isn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Is that deserved? Is that about his third friggin' shot of the game? Yes. Uh, is it deserved? No. I've been all over him, but I, I, can't, I can't finish. So, his centre-backs have ruled this game against me. Come on. Yes. Mikatarian does it for us again. Sorry for not talking much throughout that little sequence, but I was just trying to make some space. We are now up to, well, we're two goals with Mikatarian, so of course we're up to 100k, but minus 30 for the goal we've conceded is at 70 so far. Hopefully we can hold on to this and win the game though. Famous last words. What would I say that for? Come on, Mikatarian. You're through for the hat-trick, buddy. Come on. Yes, he's done it. I didn't think that one was going in. But we have scored the hat-trick with the main man on his debut. And that, where we were at 70k plus 50, is 120k from this first match. 
Whew, I, I genuinely didn't think he was going to do anything for me there. I thought either the goalkeeper was saving it or it was going wide of the post. Looks like we're going to win this match, boys. I, we deserve it, but I've played like arse, really. Come on, Afobi. Uh, referee's blown the final whistle, and we take that win in the first game. Three goals to one. Hat-trick for Mikitarian. So 120k overall is what we get. Uh, we still have a second game to play, of course. But hopefully, if I've read the rules right, you guys will be able to select a substitute, anyone from that guy's team that we could use in a future episode. So, uh, I'll do all of that stuff right at the end, if it all counts and is legit. But now, let's move on to our second opponent and play our second game. Alright guys, straight in then to our second game, and we're going to be up against another Premier League side. This time with Walcott, Mane, and in-form Andre Gray. Oh, dearie me. Uh, he's got that... that um, Bellerin, he's got Smalling, he's got Bai. <sighs> okay, okay. Challenge accepted, buddy. Mikatarian literally pulled the ball straight off of him. And he's nearly through there. I like that. I forgot I need to put Mikatarian up front straight away. Let's just get him as my striker. Whoops, I put Leadbitter there. That's not a good move. <laughs> a phobia, you can be calm. And Ian Acho, you're going to be my left striker today. Let's get into the game. Come on. Come on. We're through. Please. Oh, Zela saved it. I didn't put enough power on it before I double tapped. Oh, it's fallen to someone. Can this guy score? Zela saved. I think that was Didier and Dong that took the shot. Come on, Leadbitter. Oh, he's hit the friggin' post. He has hit the post. And Schlupp's let that go somehow. What? Play it. Mm, we're through, we're through, we're through. He's hit it wide. I've hit it wide. Half time, he's had one shot off target. We've had eight and not scored. That is totally my fault. I need to change that in the second half. Because you know how this game's going to go, don't you? He'll score a dodgy goal because of a silver goalkeeper that we've got who can't save anything. Uh, and I'll be pissed. <laughs> so, hopefully we can change this up in the second half. He's forced my centre back out. Oh my god, thank you goalkeeper. There was an open player there. He wants to just run down that byline. Or that goal line, I guess you could call it. Look at Smalling catch me. Go on! Yes! Oh my god, this player is good sometimes. Mikitarian with a worldie of a strike. That's what I've got to do in this game. Because... I can't get through one-on-one -on -one simply because the, the defenders are too overpowered and too quick. Like, Smalling was about to nail me right there. So I had to hit it. And that is a fantastic strike. 50k. Mikatarian. I love it. Oh, I tried to get it back there. Shouldn't have done that. Although, come on. Come on. Come, oh, saved by the goalkeeper. We could have got our second goal there for 100k. That would have been, would have been worth a lot. Hit it again, Mikatarian. Oh, what a strike that is. He's done it again. This guy is insane at shooting. Thank God we've got him in the team, eh? That is another banger in this game. And that brings us up 100k. So I think we're at 220k right now. What a strike, Henrik. Oh, what a goal. Yes, we're through. We're through. Come on, I can do this. No! Jesus Christ. I think I was still holding the sprint button. That was dumb. Oh, he's blown the final whistle though. We have won. Two goals to nil. And that is another 100k. Bringing us up to 220k. And I'm pretty sure we get a choice of all of the 22 players that we've just played against. To be one of our subs for future games. Love it. Alright guys, so that was actually quite a successful episode. All of the goals that we scored today came from our main man, Mikitarian. Now, I've already used him because I've like played and reviewed him before. Um, but he's got 14 goals and 2 assists in 12 games. Uh, obviously, we moved him up to striker to get some of those goals. So hopefully he keeps performing like that for us. And uh, we need to now make a couple of upgrades. There will also... I just watched Bateson's video, his first fatal. I'll leave a straw poll link down below in the uh, description. 
question where I'd like you guys to go and vote there for any of the 22 players that we have come up against. Who would you like me to have as a substitute going forward? That would be quite a cool thing to add into the series. Um, so let me know who you think was the most overpowered player that you might think would do a good job for us and that I could bring on from half time in my future games. So on your screens now is option number one of what we could upgrade to. The two players are the player of the month, Deli Ali, and then the also the player of the month, Eden Hazard. But we're planning on playing him as a striker on 7 Chemistry. I've done this before. I think he's a great player there. I'm pretty sure other people have done this in the past in Fatal. And I think this year, more than any, people have really moved on to the to the, the thought of like, you can play a, a left forward at striker on 7 chem. They'll still perform really, really well. So, that would be how we move forward. And of course, that would get rid of our two player of the month or SBC card options that we could use. Um, but I think it would be a very, very solid option to go for. Option number two then would be this. It would be to bring in the inform Winston Reed at centre back. And then bring in uh, the Inform Gay. I think his name is Gay. I hope I'm not pronouncing it terribly wrong or something. But Idrissa Gay got an upgrade. And now he's also got an Inform on top of that. He's 84 rated. People are suggesting that he's a kind of a Kante-like player. Um, and again, would be a solid option. That's more if we wanted to solid solidify the defense and have a stronger midfield. Um, but if you think goals are what we need, then option one is for you. And if you want this particular upgrade, option number two is for you. So obviously there's a couple of things that I need you guys to do. One is to thumbs up one of my comments down below on what option you would like. And the other is to go to the straw poll uh, and vote on uh, which substitute I should bring into our Fatal Squad. And then third, if you wouldn't mind smashing a thumbs up on the video itself, that would be fantastic if you have enjoyed. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to me and everybody else in uh, Fatal. I'll leave a link to them down below in the description. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time with another episode. Peace.